Hello and welcome to North Ferriby United Radio's Unibond League Premier Division podcast. I'm Richard Watts. We start the programme with Saturday's results. Buxton against Marine, Durham City against Stockbridge Park Steels, FC United of Manchester against Bradford Park Avenue, Frickley Athletic against Osset Town, Geisley against Whitby Town, all postponed. Hucknall Town 5, Bursco 2. Kendall Town against Ashton United, Nantwich Town against Worksop Town, postponed. North Ferriby United 2, Matlock Town 0. Redford United against Boston United, match postponed. Now to our featured game. I was at North Ferriby United's 2-0 win against Matlock Town. The visitors had the better chances in the first half. They had a spell of five successive corners in which fine defending from Steve Wilson, Chris Boulder and Sam Denton ensured that the host's goal remained intact. Lively forward Ross Hanna, who caused the host a lot of problems throughout the afternoon, also went through one-on-one with Steve Wilson, but he saved well at his feet. At the other end, Mark Whitehouse had a good run, cut in from the left-hand side, and just when he was about to fire a shot, missed kicked. And late in the half, Alex Davison fired just over the bar. In the second half, it was a different story. Ferriby got off to the perfect start. Sam Denton's well-struck free kick flying into the back of the net on 48 minutes. And from that point, Ferriby always looked likely to win the game. Matlock did cause a threat with their height at set pieces. And a couple of times, Steve Wilson had to come and claim well. Alex Davison and Gary Bradshaw both went close to adding to Ferriby's 1-0 lead. And the game was eventually wrapped up in the 84th minute when Russell Fry's curling free kick avoided everybody and landed in the corner of the net to make it 2-0. Late in the game, Matlock lost a skipper, Lou Kick, who picked up a second yellow card when he sarcastically applauded the referee. So it's the final score of North Ferriby United 2, Matlock Town 0. Graham Riley reports on Hucknall Town's 5-2 win against Bursco. Hucknall Town took advantage of the various postponements to climb to 6th on the table with a commanding 5-2 win at home to Bursco, with two further goals disallowed. TJ Nightingale opened the scoring for Hucknall after just 16 seconds, but honours were even at the break after Lewis Field equalised against the run of play on 36 minutes. Adrian Hall's header put Hucknall back ahead, only for Darren Byers to draw Bursco back level from 12 yards. Goals from Antoine Bonnick and Rubens Wiggins Thomas made it 4-2 with half an hour to go. Nightingale second added the finishing touch and added time. Looking at the league table, Retford United are in first position, 42 points from 22 games. Then second, Bradford Park Avenue, 39 points from 19. In third, Boston United, 39 points from 22. In fourth, North Ferriby, 37 points from 18. In 5th, Hucknall Town, 33 points from 22. And in 6th place, Ashton United, 32 points from 23. At the bottom, Durham City have no points from 20. Osset Town in 19th have 19 from 20. In 18th, with 21 points from 17, FC United of Manchester. And in 17th, with 22 points, Frickley from 17 games. And then Matlock Town with 22 points in 16th from 18 games. Home table looking at the last six matches sees North Ferriby at the top, five wins in the, five wins in that period. Bradford Park Avenue second also have five wins. Then come third Buxton, fourth Redford United, fifth Matlock Town and sixth Whitby Town. At the bottom Durham City and Ashton United both have no points. Osset Town of two Worksop Town 16th have 7, as do Nantwich Town, Stocksbridge, Park Steels and FC United of Manchester. 
Now for the latest news. I'm pleased to say that North Ferriby United won Club of the Month for December. Three away wins clinched the award. Victory in the League Cup at Frickley and then two league wins at Geisley and Hucknall. The stadium is to host its first international match when the England Independent Schools take on Australia schools in an under-18 international friendly. The game takes place on Friday the 29th of January, kick-off 7pm. Kendall's manager Lee Ashcroft has been suspended from all football activity for three months by the Football Association. An FA spokesman said the suspension relates to an offence in the Kings Lynn match on October 3, 2009 and refers to the use of abusive and or indecently insulting words to a match official. Scott Field went on to say, We would consider this matter seriously and as part of our respect programme it is high on our agenda to support our match officials when we feel they have been abused. FC United of Manchester have been busy in the transfer market. Carl Jacobs has arrived from Kendall Town. William Jones comes in from Stamford. And Adriano Rigiloso comes in from Colwyn Bay.